they tend to turn yellow more than the other, but this thing is like wicked yellow. I feel like that. It makes me hungry. That's a bad thing, but we'll see. We'll right Standard there. Padron band, handmade 1926 series. And this thing, which is in a lot of Padron band, which I don't understand. Like, what's the point of having serial number? Who's got it? Like, if somebody smoked back one, they got to keep the serial number and go complain. And do they do something about it? I don't know. Maybe that's just... Okay. And... It's kind of cool, but as you age them, they, they become harder to remove. Hey guys, Tony the Story Sass Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review in this very, very, very cold day. Now today is one of those days I don't eat again. This is my dinner, tea. So, hopefully the cigar we got to review today, it's gonna be delicious. Cause I don't got no food, right? So, today we have this Padron. Let me get a full name. Padron. 1926 series number 90 Maduro Tubo. There you go. All right. So now I believe Eric sent this to me. Smoke one if you have one. I have a few of these, but I found this one to be like very, very aged, right? Because like they still sell these about 24, 50, 50, uh, 25 dollars, right? And, and he sent me one. I think this is from him because it's super yellow. And, and I remember he talked about he found these really old ones in the shop and he bought them. So now, if you don't think it's yellow, like I can tell it's yellow before I take it down. All right. This is aged. Uh, for Maduro, they tend to turn yellow more than the other. But this thing is like wicked yellow. I feel like the... The wrapper is just gonna break apart. Hold on. Ugh, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Alright. I'm gonna fix this a little bit. And without killing it. Come on. Oh no. I don't want to break I don't break it. Maybe. Alright. Here we go. This is how yellow this thing is. Uh can you see that? Now for comparison. Yeah. I think that you, you get the point. You get the point. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, let me fix this a little bit. Be right back. Okay, we're back. The band was giving me trouble because, like, from the bag, when I pull out, all the band want to get out. So, fix it up a little bit. Now we have a presentation here. That has a little hole there. I don't know if that's going to bother me, but we'll see, right? It smells like a dry bar of chocolate. It kind of does. It smells like a dry bar of chocolate. Now, the filler is Nicaraguan. Wrapper is Nic Nic Nicaraguan. Vine is Nicaraguan, so Nicaraguan Puro. Uh, the size is a Toro. is 5.5 by 52. Uh, I don't know why the size has to be Palejo. I don't know, but hey, it is what it is. Um... I'm kind of wary because it does say full strain, but again, sometimes you have to judge for yourself, not read that. Like I usually judge by pacing it, not by reading those. So 
Let's go with that. <clears throat> kind of light. The draw is perfect. The draw is perfect. Like you expect from Padron, right? I'm turning the fan on right now. Just give me a second. Just make sure. Because sometimes it go like this. Cold draw. Leather and chocolate. A lot of chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. I hope this doesn't break me out of my fasting. Because it's kind of sweet. I'm not eating anything. I'm not eating anything. All right, let's light it up. There's a little bit of pepper in it too. I start tasting pepper. I find a spot where there's no fan. The toasting smell is actually pretty nice. Oh, it smells really good. Espresso, leather, cocoa, pepper. Cedar, and there's some other like, like a dark charred notes as well. And something else, something else tried to come up and, and I, I did barely taste it, but it's not there yet. Let me smoke for one third. We'll be right back. So far, very nice. Just the uh, the smell and the taste. It it makes me hungry. That's a bad thing. But we'll see. We'll be right back. All right, first third. Good cigar. Draw is perfect. Smoke output is ridiculous. Um, it's got this coffee slash espresso. Slash woodsy no, but it's got this grassy no in there that made it kind of different. So it's even though it's uh, you, you can taste it, you can get okay. Well, I taste the coffee, I taste the espresso, taste the cocoa, but there is some like a grassy tone to it. Yeah, there's a little bit of grassy tone to it. It doesn't make it bad. It just make that kind of thing slightly more refreshing. I don't know. And it has the pepper, and the pepper that literally wipes everything out at the end of it. And once you go back, <clears throat> construction is great, which you kind to kind of have to expect that from Padron. Um, at right now the strings about medium, so it's not really full, but the flavor is definitely full. It's definitely full body. You can taste it right away. You can taste it very strong. Good cigar right now. $24, yeah, I can kind of see it. I can, $24.50, 20, $25, I can kind of see that. But it's a Padron. Like, I feel like reviewing Padron's album was almost 
redundant or, 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 or you know, not necessary because we all know Pajon makes cigars that are good and they don't really care about what everybody thinks, right? What I can do right now is really just giving you the flavor profile and tell you to try it or not. I mean, I don't personally like to buy Pajon's because for me, their leaf color is inconsistent and all of their cigar looks like raw. Either they look really oily or they look like really bumpy or like not smooth like you know uh, the, the 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 display of it is not very finished look some of them are some uh, but then like the one that I finished look the color is inconsistent you, you open up a, a single box especially when i go by and like dab it off and stuff like that they lay it out in the tray right and you look at it all of them like somewhat different color and, and like you know, it's really hard to tell between their maduro and their habano they're very close in color so like i personally did not like that kind of stuff like you know it's really it bothers me a little bit so i don't know but yeah let me go to the second third we'll take a look at some of these bends because i need to take them off they just bother me they're sliding at left and right so and we'll go to second third yeah we'll go to second third yeah we're right back second third now this is where the problem begins um first of all continuation of this is the draw is nice, construction is good, actually it's good, I'm going to tap this off. Actually it's good, and the flavor, the good flavor is still there. But, now there is another flavor. I just want to make sure that my volume is not too long, because when I say but, that went to red. Alright, <clears throat> so. <clears throat> it has this really... Boring, nasty end notes that taste like powdered chalk or something like that. It ends like that, so it's kind of bitter ending, right? Everything's still good. Cocoa's still there. Coffee's still there. Pepper's still there. A little bit of sweetness, and then ends with it like a chalky, powdery notes. And while your mouth is feeling bitter, your nose is being burned by pepper. So I think that part is actually not that enjoyable. So the second third starts to like not very enjoyable. And now it starts to feel like a full cigar. Full string cigar. So at this point, not as enjoyable. But while that's burning, we can take a look at everything else. First, the top band. Standard Padron band. Handmade 1926 series. Very recognizable. I mean, they don't really change the band that much. Uh, even today. And this thing, which is in a lot of Padron band, which I don't understand. Like, what's the point of having serial number? Who's got to, like, I, if somebody smoked back one, they got to keep the serial number and go complain. And do they do something about it? I don't know. Maybe that's just for inventory purposes. Uh, like, you know, so they, they know that people are not stealing their cigars. But at the same time, who's got to care? Like, like for example, if somebody stole your cigars, like, you know, that, that does happen, right? Somebody goes steal a bunch of cigars and sell them. You gotta have a list of all the serial number and try to tell the shop to, to match each one of them, make sure they didn't buy a stolen one, or tell the smokers to deal with that serial number. No one's gonna do that. So kind of defeat the point of having that serial number. I don't understand, other than try to say that individually check or whatever. I don't I don't know. And then we have this um last band where the signature says number 90. Okay. And it's kind of cool, but as you age them, they, they become harder to remove. And the tubo, which is kind of nice. I mean, it seals well, obviously, and stay there very nicely. The top, number 90, Padron. The bottom, autograph, handcrafted, Maduro, tells you what it is. So it's nice. I have a, like a whole bunch of tubos here when I smoke them, like, like one of these. I keep them because... I don't know. Maybe one day when I send out a cigar, it makes it easier. I have like a whole, whole area. You can hear them. Like I have a bunch of them. So yeah, and that will be the second third. That was supposed to be a very enjoyable cigar. As it age, you would think that all the bad note kind of goes away. But I feel like this one, you can really taste that that chalk. Ooh, don't fall down. That chalk. So it's kind of nasty at that point. But everything else is good. It's still enjoyable. I think that if you're drinking a certain drink where it's automatically stuck. Uh, like automatically kind of bitter, like a, like a espresso or like a dark coffee or something like that. You can kind of cover up that taste.
But if you are smoking something that are, I mean, drinking something that are not like tea, and doesn't really wipe anything out, you would really taste it. So yeah, that's the second third. Hopefully the last third gets better. I'm going to slow down because it's getting full and I don't have any food. So we'll be right back. All right, so I finished up. It was a pretty good cigar, you know? I knocked it. The summary of last third is basically the second third with some... Hmm, should I describe it? Second third, lighter, but strength more. So you're getting a full strength cigar, but lighter note. I don't know if that's a good finish. You still kind of like, you know, it's like, oh yeah, I'll get a second third, kind of a good flavor-ish thing. And because the flavor died down a little bit, that chalkiness died down too. So it's a little bit more enjoyable than having that chalkiness. But you get a full strength, right? And definitely not a good idea to smoke a full strength cigar while you don't eat anything. So it's like, oh, this thing's heavy. I feel heavy, you know, but it's manageable heavy. It didn't catch you by surprise because you knew since the, the, the second third that the str uh, strength is ramping up. So it's not, it didn't catch me by surprise. I slowed down. It was fine. I was able to smoke it, but I still didn't like what I get for such a strength. And I might, it might also to do to the fact that this cigar has been sitting there for a long, long time. You know, I show you guys the, the, the cello is extremely yellow, right? So it, it might be that, you know, some of the flavor might, might be this. I can smell it, but you know, that might be it. But can this cigar take $24? Yeah. It's worth twenty four dollars, twenty five dollars. Yeah, it's it's worth that money. You know, if you decide to pay twenty five dollars for this cigar, totally fine. I, I think it's worth it. It's got that quality. It's got that build. It's got that uh, 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 the draw, the construction, everything. Twenty five dollars. But for me, just for that chalkiness, that 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 bitter note, I probably will choose something else. And if I choose something else, it will probably be cheaper. Like you know. I feel like I smoked a luxury $18 cigar, right? Um, being luxury with a tubo and everything, you add a couple of dollars, yeah, you're there. So I can see that $25. But at the same time, would I want to pay that knowing that there's a chuck flavor to it? Some people might like it. Not me. All right, not me. Good cigar. Just has of notes that I don't particularly like. I don't know if anybody else like chalk uh, flavor. It's just like a powdery, bitter note. So I don't know if anybody else likes it. But if you do and you don't mind it, you, you think that that actually makes the, the flavor lingers longer, you might like it. But just not for me. Okay? So again, thanks to uh, Eric for sending me the cigar. It was a good try. Nice to try, you know, some cigars that's usually like, you know, age for a while. Taste the difference and stuff like that. So it's pretty good. And that will be it for this particular cigar review. If you like it, like, subscribe, share, comment, watch it twice, do whatever you need to do. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.